Hey guys, how's everybody doing? It's Paradoxial here, and today we are on episode 2 of making our Discord bot in Python. Today we are going to get into making simple commands for our bot. Now, uh, to get started, it is worth mentioning that there are two types of commands for Discord bots. There are application commands, or more uh, known as slash commands, and then there are old-fashioned prefix commands, which are essentially what bots have been utilizing ever since they were really created. Uh, that is what we're going to be making today. We're going to be making a prefix command. Now, we will be getting into slash commands later in the series, so if you prefer slash commands on a bot, don't worry. We will get into that eventually. But as this is more uh, leaning towards beginner level programmers for Discord bots, uh, we're just going to stick with prefix commands for the time being. But uh, anyways, to get started, uh, we are going to go ahead and make our commands function. And uh, we need to use a new decorator for our bot. And uh, to do that, we're just going to type in at bot.command. So if you remember, last episode, we used bot.event, but today we're going to be using at bot.command, and uh, this time we're going to have a set of parentheses at the end. After that, we are going to write our function, and it's just a sync, def, and then the command's name, uh, which I'm just making a command where a bot says hello to you, so we're just going to type in hello, and there we go. Uh, now... Something we need to pass in the parameters here is CTX, which is context. Now, essentially what context is, it is a variable that retrieves all the information uh, from where the command was ran, who ran the command, uh, what time they ran the command, uh, what persons who ran the command's permissions were, um, all sorts of uh, valuable information that we might want to utilize uh, when developing our bot further. And we also need context in order to actually respond to that command. So uh, what we are going to do is after that, we are going to type in await ctx.send. And then we are going to just type in hello there. And uh, that is basically it. Our command is finished. Now, if I go ahead and run the code, and as you see, our bot is online, we're going to open up Discord, and I'm just going to type in hello. Or whoops, wrong prefix. Sorry, guys. Hello. And as you can see, our bot responds with hello there. Now, uh, what if we wanted to make it uh, respond to myself by mentioning me? Well, uh, we can do that by uh, first killing our bot, and then coming back here and just editing this entire uh, command. And uh, we're going to type in await ctx.send. And then we're going to type in f and then our two quotations to make a string. And then we're just going to type in hello there. And then um, curly brackets. And inside here, we're going to type in ctx.author.mention. Uh, now, that's what the useful part of ctx, otherwise known as context, is for, is we can actually grab the author and then mention them uh, whenever the command is ran. Now, the author is the person who ran the command. So in my case, myself. But it just basically grabs whoever had ran that command at the time. And then we're just going to put in an explanation point right there. Now we can go ahead and run our bot again. Go back to Discord and then just type in dot hello. And as you can see, it says hello there at Paradoxial and it mentioned me because I have ctx.author.mention right here. So uh, that is pretty simple for a command. Um, we can make another one if we want. Uh, we can just type in at bot.command sync def. Um, good morning, ctx. And then we can just actually copy this whole line. And then 
Good morning. And then we can run code. Now, if I type in hello, as you see, that command still exists. Now, good morning. And now it says good morning at paradoxial. Now, what if uh, we want to edit the name of our command, but still keep the function's name as good morning? Well, something cool we can do is we can go inside these parentheses in our decorator and we can type in name. It's going to be equal to. And then we can just type in GM, which is just short for good morning. So if I go ahead and run the code. And then type in good morning like this. As you can see, nothing happens. But when I type in GM, we get our response that we're looking for. We can also have multiple names for a command. And uh, to do that, we can just get rid of this and we can type in aliases. And then we can set it equal to a list. And inside here, we can type in good morning, morning, and then good morning, just like that. So we have three different names for our command. And then we can go ahead and run our code. Uh, whoops. Okay, never mind. We can't have good morning because good morning is the command's uh, function's name. So we're just going to have two other names for it, but we'll still have three in total if you count the function's name. Uh, apologize about that. But if we go ahead and run our code, as you see, bot is online. Go back to Discord, type in good morning, same response. Type in .gm, same response, then type in morning, same response. So no matter what name you use, uh, it will still call that command because we have two aliases for good morning set. So there are three different things we can type in, um, followed the dot, and then it will run that command. So uh, that is it for episode two. All we want to do is just co create two simple commands and then just going over how we can name our commands and then how we can use context to uh, gather certain information we might be looking for. So uh, that is it for today's episode. Uh, be on the lookout for episode three, which we would get into embeds and embedded messages. Uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you enjoyed about today's video or let me know how your day was. Don't forget to subscribe for more content just like this. We are trying to get to 1,500 subscribers before the end of summer of this year, which right now we are at about 1,200, somewhere in the middle there. Not for sure, but uh, be sure to subscribe if you guys haven't yet, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.